Welcome everyone. Today we're going to speak about Toyota because on the Corolla 2023 model year, Toyota adopted a brand new programming security protocol for their remote portion of the key. And we didn't have it at the time of the last video that I made on this topic. We used to have the listing for the Corolla bladed starting in 2020 and it ran to 2023. Once we found out that the protocol was actually different, we uh, dropped the year back to 2022 as far as support so that security professionals didn't go out into the field and not be able to program in the remote. You could still program in the remote, but you had to have the dealer tool. And we needed the development software. We have done so. It works extremely well. So now we have a separate listing. And this is the old listing you'll see right here for remote programming 387. Up until present date, this has been their highest protocol. Now you have a separate listing for the Corolla for 2023 bladed. And you'll notice right here for remote programming, the protocol has changed to 1231. This is something that Toyota may adopt on newer late model vehicles, but we'll have to see if they actually do that. But for right now, the Corolla does on the 23 model year bladed require this new protocol. And on your Smart Pro, update your software because this new listing is available right now. Now, what I would suggest, this is a Toyota Tiz subscription for the immobilizer. Don't program in the immobilizer until you've done the remote. And the reason we say that is because you can cut a metal key. It's easier to manipulate the buttons when the key is out of the ignition as opposed to in, but the main reason is to mitigate risk. In other words, if the remote functions don't program in for whatever reason, you can then return that key to your key supplier. So cut a metal key, program in your remote functions, then you can go after the transponder side, which is going to be a NASTA subscription-based Toyota Tiz over on their website for this particular year. And that's my message today. I hope you found it helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching.